Level four, the race back to the stables. There's no time to lose. The sinister Mr. Sands is involved in whatever dark scheme is going on here, and he seems determined to detonate the Yorvik Dam. Who is the government person who just arrived in town, and what's the connection between the stars and the ocean floor outside Yorvik? Now one of Mr. Sands' evil henchmen is speeding towards the stables, intent on hurting Mr. Herman. Since Herman doesn't have a cell phone, Linda and Meteor must beat the car racing towards the stables. Oh no, this is a race. I'm not prepared. We have to get to the stables to warn Herman before Mr. Sands' evil goons get there. We could take a shortcut through the countryside and get there before them. Okay, so go this way. That's where uh, Lisa went. <gasps> Jump! I am all over the place. Hurry up, Linda! I'm trying! I swear! <laughs> I'm on my way! Come on then, Lisa! Hey, there's a star. This is way out of the way. Come on, Lisa! not looking for other stars. I feel like that might take away. <laughs> that will slow me down too much. The skinniest bridge ever. Oh, what is this? Look at all those brambles. Run, Meteor, run. Oh, I did not realize that was going to be a jump. Oh no, I didn't mean I don't want to dismount. Go! Why aren't you going? Go! No, no, no! Don't do that! Move forward! He wasn't moving forward. Oh, we're so far behind now. Where do we go? This way? Uh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm just lost. Come find me. There she is. Come on, Lisa. I caught up. Let's go. Gosh, Lisa, you're so slow. <gasps> A star. Um. Now where do I go? Just this way? <gasps> Who puts giant rivers in the middle of a cornfield? I don't know where to go. Where am I going? It's not very clearly marked or anything. Am I just supposed to jump? Nope. Not at all. Where's Lisa? Where am I going? No, now I just fell through the world. That's not good. Goodbye, meteor. It was nice knowing you. Back over the brambles. Whoa. Nope. Where are we? It's like a whole other racetrack down here. What is this? Am I just going in circles? I'm hurrying! I just don't know where I am. Hey look, a star! I have to slow down or I'm not gonna make these turns. Where are we? Do I go this way? Oh, I fell again. I'm so confused. There she is. Whew, that was rough, rough. Here I am, Lisa.
Where'd she go? There she is. Quick, show me where to go, because obviously I didn't know last time. And then I fell through the earth. Oh, there's a hole! Excellent. Look, they're on the bridge! There's the car! We must go faster. I'm pretty sure I'm going as fast as I can. Whew. We did that part okay. Wait up a little bit, Lisa! Linda, look down! To the right, there's the car again. You're right, we must ride harder! Wait, so sh could she hear my horse? Can they just hear all the horses? This is a very long trail ride. Quick now, Linda, we must go to the stables to find Herman. I'll keep the goons busy somehow. It's hard to read and... And ride. That race is difficult as it is. Yay, we did it. Level four complete. Level 5, The Secret of the Ancient Ruins. Mr. Herman is safe thanks to Linda and Meteor. Many things are happening right now. Someone is planning to cause great damage to Jorvik. And the creepy Mr. Sands and the Dark Core Corporation appear to be involved in these terrible things. What is going on in Jorvik and what are Linda and the other girls' roles in these happenings? And number 45. What is the secret with Meteor? Maybe the clues, if not the answers, lie with the other girls and Herman? I bet they do. Mr. Herman, you're okay! Hi, Linda. A bit late for a ride, isn't it? It's getting dark, you know. Herman, you have to hide. You're in great danger. Mr. Sand's evil goons are coming for you. What in the world are you talking about, Linda? Burp, 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 burp. I don't have time to explain, just trust me. You're in danger and we have to find a safe place for you right now. Okay, okay, just calm down a bit. We'll go into the stables and lock the doors if it'll make you feel safe. But you have to explain what's going on. Hey, what's that? There's something at the gate. Yeah, robbers. Oh no, it's, it's Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Finally, I made it. Sans car is right behind us. Okay, girls, let's go to the stables, and then you two have some explaining to do. Well, our horses can talk to us, and we broke into this mansion. There, they can't get us now. I've locked the doors. Now, what is all this talk about evil goons and Mr. Sands? It, it's difficult to explain. So strange. Somehow, we can talk to our horses. Linda has mysterious visions of the future. And I can heal horses. <laughs> That's a lot to drop on a person. Mr. Sands is the leader of some men who want to hurt us and Jorvik. We have to figure out what's going on. Yeah, we found stuff at Pine Hill Mansion and Mr. Sands was there and his goons. And they were talking about a bomb and a disaster that will strike Jorvik. It's happening tomorrow. Calm down, girls. You're right. Strange things are happening. I wasn't sure, but the signs are clear. You are two of the chosen ones. Two of four heroes. The Soul Riders. Huh? What are you talking about? I'll tell you the prophecy of the Soul Riders. I've never believed in magic, but there's something very special about the two of you and your friends Alex and Anne. 
According to the prophecy, our little island holds ancient and terrible secrets. My grandfather told me that there's been very strange things happening in Jorvik every 100 years. Now it seems to have started again as the four of you became friends. Lisa can heal wounds, Linda has visions of the future, and even Mr. Sands is showing his true, dark, and evil nature. All of this is so weird. What can we do about it? You must discover if the prophecy is true, and find out what powers the four of you have. H how can we do that? Jorvik is in danger. A bomb is about to go off. I think you have the power to stop it. There's no school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you, so you'll have time in the morning to look for clues about the Soul Riders and the bomb you keep talking about before the big tournament. Y you're right, but we have to split up. I'll go to the ruins in the woods and examine the mysterious symbols. Lisa, you and Anne can try to find out more about Pine Hill Mansion. I think there's more to be discovered up there. Alex can follow Mr. Sands and see what he's up to. We'll call each other if we find anything about the bomb. That's a great plan. We'll get started in the morning. Good, I'll see what I can do to help. Mr. Sands' men have left, so I'll drive both of you home. It's time to go to bed, and you need to be fit for a fight tomorrow. Next day, early morning. This is the placed... The placed? This is the place. Now I must examine the symbols and the writing. <gasps> what? We're at the Druid Circle! This is so cool! It looks so much like it does in Star Stable. This is... Oh, there's a star. Excuse me. Excuse me, Druids. We must go get this star. Oh, I guess we can't go up that. I need that star! Come on! Yes! There we go. <laughs> Four spots in the symbol center are burning with a magic light. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see a ho their horses. I did not look at it from above. Oh, and the girls. I did not even notice this. Look, there's Linda with the glasses. <laughs> She's, oh, look, 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 look. It's our friend. Linda, you are one of the four soul riders, four girls who will change the future. You've been chosen to guard this land against evil, together with your soul steeds. One of you has the power to heal and bring life. Linda, you have been given the power to see the future and to change what is going to happen. Alex and Anne also have powers, but what they are up is up to them to discover. But if I can see the future, why can't I see where the bomb will explode? You can if you try hard enough. Concentrate. <laughs> okay, I'll try now. I'll try hard. I love the Twilight Zone feeling. Where is it, though? I saw it. It's inside the dam on the second floor. And the countdown has been activated. You did it. Very good, Linda. I have to go to the dam and disarm the bomb. It's strange she didn't ask uh, the chipmunk, like, who he is, what he is, what he's doing here, how does he know all this, how is he talking to her? <laughs> I probably would have freaked out a little bit. I have to go to the dam and disarm the bomb. It's not far from here, at all, so I'll go there first. No need to call the others. That sounds dangerous. Pretty dangerous. 